Recently, more than 13 million Australians were in lockdown as the COVID Delta variant continues to spread. That's more than half of Australia's population in lockdown as state borders slam shut and schools closed. And it's not just Australia that's struggling to contain the new Delta COVID variant. 18 months after COVID first appeared, in many countries around the world, cases have hit an all-time high as we see record infection numbers. Imagine, 18 months of it and no end in sight. We're experiencing COVID fatigue. We're sick of it and tired of having our plans and lives disrupted. It's been going on for far too long. When is it all going to end? When are things going to return to normal? Well, it's all taking a heavy toll on us in a number of areas, including our mental health. As the coronavirus pandemic continues to rapidly sweep across Australia and the world, it's inducing a considerable degree of fear, worry and concern. We're experiencing a lot of mental pressure. Mental health problems are common now. Perhaps it's time for us to invest more and care for our mental well-being. It's time to be kind to our minds. Here are six quick and simple tips to reduce stress and promote well-being. Number one, pause, breathe, reflect. Take some slow breaths in through your nose and then slowly breathe out. Slow breathing is one of the best ways to lower stress because it signals to your brain to relax your body. Number two, connect with others. Talking to people you trust can help. Keep in regular contact with people close to you. Tell them how you are feeling and share your concerns. Number three, keep to a healthy routine. And here are some do's. Get up and go to bed at similar times every day. Keep up with personal hygiene. Eat healthy meals at regular times. Exercise regularly. Just doing three to four minutes of light intensity physical movement, such as walking or stretching, will help. Next, allocate time for working and time for resting. And then make time for doing things you enjoy. And don't forget, take regular breaks from ongoing screen activities. So there are some important do's. And here's a very important don't. Don't use alcohol and drugs as a way of dealing with fear, anxiety, boredom and social isolation. Now here's our fourth point. Be kind to yourself and others. Don't expect too much of yourself on difficult days. Accept that some days you may be more productive than others. Try to reduce how much you watch, read or listen to news that makes you feel anxious or distressed. Seek the latest information from trusted sources at specific times of the day. Helping others can be good for you too. If you're able to, offer support to people in your community who may need it. Number five, reach out for help if you need it. Don't hesitate to seek professional help if you think you need it. A good place to start is your local doctor or health worker. Helplines can also be a source of support. Last but not least, number six, trust in God. At times like this, it's important to trust in God. God knows everything we are going through at this very moment and everything we will go through in the future. He knows the best way to handle every situation so we get the best possible outcome. And we need to trust Him with that. We need to follow His path and trust that He knows best because He does. Here's what the Bible says about trusting God in hard times. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Here's another one. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And here's one of my favorites. Those of steadfast mind, 
you keep in peace because they trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for in the Lord God, you have an everlasting rock. Now, isn't that encouraging? It sure puts our minds at ease and gives us peace to know that God is with us and is watching over us. If you'd like to know more about God and the way He cares for us, I'd like to recommend the free Bible reading guide we have for you today. It's called God's Plan for My Life. Just go to our website, tij.tv, and request your free gift now.